Okay, you guys, it's Will Fay Chris, and I wanted to pop in real quick because I wanted to share with you a really spooky Halloween story as it pertains to real estate. Um, you guys, you know I'm always out here having fun, having fun with my clients, and this particular story I thought was quite unique, and I just definitely wanted to share with you guys. So, are you ready for this little scary story? I hope you got your hot cocoa and you're ready to go. Anywho, so I had some clients, and they were looking for a home. And uh, we looked at quite a few houses. We looked for a few months. Um, they, it was, it's so funny when I work with couples, how the, the husband looks for certain things and the wife looks for certain things. Well, after a uh, couple months of looking for houses, the wife and the husband settled on this one particular gorgeous, gorgeous home. A home like I've never seen before, right? And um, it had pretty much everything they wanted and more. But they wanted to make sure that there was nothing else out there for them. They wanted to make sure for sure that this was the one. So you guys, we looked at a couple more houses and every other house we saw for that, they kept comparing to this particular house. So we decide to set an appointment to go back to see the house. And um, the seller happened to be there when we set another appointment. And as we entered the house, he said, hey, just let your buyers, let them go ahead and look at the house. He said, you could just sit down and chit-chat with me. I said, sure. So he and I, we sat down in the living room, and he was kind of giving me some history of the home and um, just letting me, you know, letting me in on, you know, some of the memories he shared at, at the house with his family. And he even mentioned to me that, hey, look, I really like you. I really like your clients. If they love this house, they can even have furniture. And you guys, this furniture was absolutely gorgeous. It was just it was ornate furniture, and I absolutely was in awe when he told me this, right? In fact, I couldn't wait to tell my clients after the appointment, hey, you guys, he even said that you guys can have the furniture for the price of the home. So, long story short, after the appointment, we leave. I get on a conference call with them. They're in their car. I'm in my car, and you know, the husband's like, let's go. Let's write this offer up. And, and I said, hey, guys, you know, he's even throwing in the furniture. And I mean, this is beautiful furniture, like I said. Ornate, big, you know, nice pieces. So the wife is like, I don't know. I have this experience in the house. I don't think I can go through with buying this house. I don't think this is the house. So the husband and the wife, they're going back and forth. And I, for the life of me, I can't understand. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, you guys kept comparing this house to every other house that you saw. I thought this was one. She said, but I had these feelings while I was in the house. I don't think that this is my house. So I said, well, I'm going to let you guys sleep on this. You guys have a conversation about this more. Just let me know and we can move forward. So long story short, I later find out um, that the house was essentially haunted, if you will. And I think that the ghost of the wife that used to live there visited my client, the wife. Because what she explained, she experienced in the house asking us, did we not experience that, which we hadn't. The wife, who is no longer with us, apparently experienced these same things as she was transitioning, if you will, because she was murdered in, the, in this house. Yes. Now, this is absolutely, I know this does not sound true, but it is. And like I said, I read the reports on what happened in this house after finding out about this, and I was absolutely stunned. Needless to say, my clients did not buy the house. Thankfully, we ended up finding them something else that was absolutely gorgeous. But you guys, I did see that the house did sell. And I'm hoping that they made sure they did some cleansing before they moved in. Let's just say that. But it was a beautiful home. And um, you guys, just because something like that happens in a house, I will tell you this. And when it comes to Michigan law, in terms of Michigan real estate, no one has to disclose whether or not there has been a death in that house. Only as it pertains to the house itself, the structure, things going on with the house, does that have to be disclosed. So if you're wondering why that was not disclosed... That's the reason why. So hopefully you enjoyed this scary story <laughs> in, just in time for Halloween. And um, yeah, I hopefully we'll have some other stories coming up for Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's as I continue to have these beautiful experiences with my clients or spooky experiences, if you will. Hope you enjoyed. I am Kristen Peoples, Real Estate Kristen. You can visit me at kristenpeoples.com. That's C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N. 
P-E-E-P-L-E-S dot com.